All right, guys, we're gonna look at installing our DO35 now. But before I do that, I am gonna strip everything off the drawbar here. And I'm gonna give it a good clean up because it's looking pretty secondhand at the moment. So we'll just take all this off, give it a spray up, and then um, we're good to chuck on the DO35. Alright guys, I'm going to install our mountain air dust reduction system now um, and I'll tell you a little bit about it before I do so. So we originally had the Dometic DRS that we were going to install. We purchased it. The main reason I bought that was one, to be different to the Carafean that we had before so we could see how they are compared and two, because it was unpowered um, and cheaper. It was a lot cheaper. Um, so that was we bought that but then we got an email after we did the birth of van re reveal from um james from mountain air and um he said look we've developed this new dust reduction system we want you to give it a crack and uh he told me about a couple of the features of it and i was sold straight away uh so basically look it looks very similar to a carafan it's the white unit square setup um obviously it sits on your roof looks quite neat but then if we flip it over i'll go this way so you can see it you can see on the controls here that we have a plus and a minus and an in and out so what this uh, system does is it can blow in and out so you can set it up turn it on, it's forcing air in exactly like the Carafan used to in our old van, um, and that will stop the dust coming in because it's pushing um, positive pressure out of all the holes. But then, say, which is, you have a situation like it has happened to us before, you're cooking some in the, something in the van, you, you start smoking up, you're like, oh no, the smoke detector's gonna go off. Bang, you hit the out button, and this then draws everything out. So I think that's an awesome feature. And it also has a fan speed control. So when you have it on the in setting, um, you can also turn it down and just use it as a standard fan. So it's not just a one use product. So it's a really neat and tidy looking unit. Oh, and the other great thing about this it's a Land Cruiser filter. So you don't have to go and find the specific filter for this. You can go to any auto parts store, say, I want a Land Cruiser filter, please. Bang, you've got a brand new filter for it. And you can find those all over the country, obviously, because Land Cruisers are so popular. But yeah, so um, really keen to get this installed and then um, see how it works. Okay, so this here, we're gonna pull out this vent and that's where our dust reduction system is going to go. I'll just step back a little bit to give you a bit of an idea. There's the bunks, the vent is there. Um, the main reason I'm pulling that out is, it sort of sucks that we're gonna lose that natural light here, but this vent is in poor condition, or hatch I should say, it's in very poor condition. It's not working properly. The blinds are all ratty and fallen out. So we'll tear that out. Uh, the only problem I've got is this is slightly bigger than the uh, vent size that you would normally use to replace to put this dust reduction system in. Um, they recommend a vent size of 355 by 355, which is the same size of that style vent, which most vans have that in there, um, somewhere in their uh, roof layout anyway. But um, this is 400 by 400. so. It's just going to cover, but I'm going to have to pack it out a little bit. And it means when I put my inside trim 
this bit here, I'm gonna have to get some timber or something just to cover a bit of it because it won't quite cover all this. But anyway, small problem. It'll still look neat once I've finished, but um, yeah, we'll get up there and we'll tear out uh, this old hatch first. There we go, mountain air, dust reduction system, all installed. Um, still just got to wire up on the inside and then do a bit of trim. Because like I said, it, it just doesn't quite cover, but I'm really happy with that. That was super easy to install. Um, all sick it up. Yeah, just so simple. And just to replace that filter, all you got to do is undo these bolts on the outside, lift that lid off and um, a couple of screws and that filter pops straight out. Happy days, stoked with that. So Erin's over here finishing off this tiling. It's not as easy as you thought, eh? No. It's a real pain it's in the It's really ass. complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because you've got all these curves and like this curve. Yeah, and, and because you've got to start at the top, which I did already mess up, if you at look the top here. top right. Yep. So when I started, I started over here and thought, oh yeah, I'll just cut these bits in later, but not thinking that that has to be on first. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to trim all this some bit of alley or plastic or something yeah. anyway it'll be fine but it's looking good hmm. really and good. then I had I was getting a lot of air bubbles in there but I've worked out if you just put like a tiny little pin prick you can push all the air out yeah without really noticing anything so. mm. but it'll look good like it's not perfect but honestly nothing in this van will be perfect like everything will be good from far but far from good <laughs> so but it, like still good enough for us. We'll be happy with it all. Just don't look too close. Yeah, <laughs> 10 meter roll. Oh, 100, 100. 100 meters at 100 k's an hour. <laughs> Righto guys, I'd like to introduce you to Dion from Okajara Engineering. How you doing mate? Very well mate. That's Very good. Well, thank you. Hey, um, so Dion is here today to do what is probably the simplest yet most important modification to this caravan. Um, really, it's gonna take just your eyes and some numbers, isn't it? Yes, yeah, visual inspection <laughs> and um, hopefully everything is what you told us and yep. then uh, we should able, be able to do this. Yeah, so the work's already done. What we're doing is an ATM upgrade. So basically um, I, I might not give, do this justice, but the vans come out derated to what they can technically carry to be on sort of the safer side of things, or why would they do that? Exactly right. Um, often vans are capable of more than what they are rated at yep. currently, and that is largely because manufacturers tend to add a nominal amount to the tear weight when they first build the van. Yep. They, it gets weighed, they add a nominal amount and arrive at an ATM. And, chassis and structures is often, often capable uh, of more. Yep. The manufacturers, one of the reasons manufacturers tend to keep the weights down is the van becomes available to a bigger market. So it can be towed by more tow vehicles. Yeah. Um, and it's just, I suppose, 
it, it widens the market. Yeah. But if it can be upgraded, why not? Yeah, and That's so we're what we're looking at is, well, basically I contacted, uh, contacted Okajaro uh, off a recommendation from Dave from Weight Check. Uh, now, it's a very simple process. Dion sends you out a form. It has a lot of questions about chassis size, um, all your rails underneath, just a lot of measurements basically. Um, and you fill that out and then before he even comes out, he can predetermine whether there's even a possibility or whether it's just not gonna happen really. It, that, that's how it works, hey? Exactly right. So the form gives us a good, it gathers all the information, gives us a good look at um, a first glance at, at what can be done. Yep. So, it's free of charge and we can do that remotely and you know, it requires a little bit of your time, but it's an easy way of us to do an initial assessment. Instead of you coming out, exactly. charging instead the of, money and then exactly saying, no, right. sorry. Yeah. Exactly right. I mean, uh, instead of coming out, you know, having doing an inspection, charging you and, and maybe you can't get anything and that's, that's not. Yep. We do inspections. Um, sometimes guys can't get- um, Yeah, it could be a little yeah, bit overwhelming for some people. A bit people. overwhelming with the form and the measurements and so on, yeah. and then and that's fine. And we will come out and inspect, but there's a fee for that. Yes, uh, yep. So now basically Dion's gonna check over everything that I've written in the form. I may have got some things wrong, and then we're going to basically see if we can have the upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool, let's Thank get into it. Right. And just like that, guys, we've gone from an ATM of 2940 up to 3300 without doing anything. So that's an extra 360 kilos payload in the van, which is amazing, considering that, yeah, like I said, we didn't have to touch anything. So a massive thank you to Dion coming out and sorting us out with that. Uh, if you want to get something like this done, make sure you hit up Okajaro. Like we said, it is free up until the stage that they come out. So you give them all the details. They can pretty much tell you before they've even come out and seen your van whether you're eligible for an ATM upgrade or not. Now, price-wise, uh, at the time, 550 bucks. Now, that's awesome to get what you get out of this for 550 bucks i just think it is one of the best investments you can do so yeah we'll put the details in the description below make sure you hit up dion righto let's chat about this absolutely beautiful lounge that we are sitting <laughs> on so you would have seen that this lounge was blue what kind of material would you call it uh, like an embroidered not embroidered um just a normal, like a regular... Regular lounge. Yeah. Regular lounge material. Um, we started looking around at options for people to re-trim it and... Uh, yeah, I didn't have very much luck when I was looking. Couldn't even find anyone that was willing to do it, really. Even no. companies that say they do caravan upholstery were like, nah, we don't really do lounges. Yeah. So I guess they just do new builds and stuff like that. And like full caravan renos themselves. Yeah. If you're not getting your whole one done, then... But the other thing we noticed was the price. Like, we started mm. looking around and even people who did find someone to do it, it was like thousands. Thousands. Ridiculous amounts of money. But anyway, so you ended up getting these, eh? Yes, I bought these off Sheen, Shine, I'm not really sure how you say it. Sort of like an Etsy store, hey? Yeah, Similar? oh no, it's like a Wish. Wish, yeah, yeah. okay, so cheap stuff. Um, yeah. If you've sort of seen any of the like caravan organisation pages and stuff like that, people talk about these a fair bit. They're just like a stretchy cover that goes over your cushions. So, one yeah. on the bottom, one on the back. We were gonna, we were gonna replace this because um, obviously one of those cushions wasn't gonna sit on. No these round bolsters very well. So we were just gonna replace that with like a similar kind of cushion and just put one of those over it. Yeah, and we, look, we knew it was gonna be pretty crap, to be honest, but well, it looks not. okay, but it wasn't gonna fit over it properly. Yeah, it doesn't feel for a, super great. They're made for a rectangle lounge. Yeah. Because this yeah. is cut on the angle. Yeah, and we knew it wouldn't be perfect anyway. Yeah, but at that stage we were like- I had hopes that it would be okay. Yeah, at that stage we were like, well, we're not spending thousands of dollars on a lounge, so yeah. we don't have that kind of money. Then what happened? Um, someone who watches our videos reached out to us. They commented um, on a video. Yeah, and they just kind of said, we'd love to help you if you cover the cost of materials. So um, so we ended up meeting up with them, Glenn and Heather. They're a lovely couple. Beautiful people. Beautiful, Beautiful. yeah. Um, they, they live only like 
10 minutes north just of us. Just up the road. Mm. And yeah. So Glenn's actually been an auto trimmer for, or end furniture trimmer for many moons. Like he's done it for a long time and you can tell, look at the quality <laughs> of this. So um, it's not actual leather. Leather would have been too expensive. No, it's like a faux leather. I think the material all up cost me like $160. Yeah, from Spotlight, was it? Yeah, Spotlight. I got it on 30% off, so save some money there too. Yep. Um, and comparing that to this, this was $120. Oh, this feels so like plasticky compared yeah. to this. This was $120 for four cushions. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that'll, it'll do the trick. It would do the trick. And I have seen it in people's caravans yeah. and it looks great. People have said that it, yeah, it goes really well. So yeah. maybe not that material, maybe just more of like a cotton kind of thing. That's like a faux leather, which doesn't, like I said, it doesn't yeah. feel very it's good. It's okay. But this is beautiful. I, I can't this, get yeah. over how good this is. So <laughs> thank you so much, Glenn and Heather, for reaching out to us yeah. and helping us out. Like we kept trying to offer them money and stuff and they just wouldn't have it. So. Oh, yeah. We just, yeah. So we got them, you know, a little something to say thank you yeah. and stuff. But, um, and we went and just met them and, yeah, beautiful people. They're actually yeah. hitting the road soon. Um, yeah, so we'll try and catch up with them on the road. Mm. But so good. Like I am so over the moon with this lounge. So after Glenn finished it, we just asked him basically what this would cost if it was for an, a customer and it's about two and a half grand. So you put <laughs> a lot of time into it. It's not cheap. So we can't sit here and say if you're renoing an old van and you want to do it budget friendly, go get your lounge trimmed. Because, would not recommend. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. If it's in your budget, then yeah, for sure. And if it's something you feel strongly about that you have to have, like yeah. by all means, go for it. But um, I think once everything's in, this is going to make the van. Yeah. It looks so good. It looks amazing. We were very, very lucky and we appreciate it more than they know. Yes. So <laughs> thank you guys once again. Well, the weather's turned on us now, but got the awning out. It's a good clean. Tell you what. Anyway. Uh, moving on to doorstep. So, got this one off eBay. I think it was about $120, something like that. They're about 200 plus from any sort of store, other store that you go to. And looks like the exact same thing, except it didn't come with bolts. But anyway, I've got some. So we'll fit that up and we're good to go. I don't know why we didn't do this earlier. I've been doing bloody big steps into the van the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Water just ran off the awning down my back. <laughs> oh man. Well, that sucks. Well, there we go, step installed. Pretty happy with that. And to go with it, cover up those ugly bolts. Brand new step rug from Grub Rug. Custom made to fit ours specifically. So if you have a different size than their standard ones, hit them up, they will custom make. And then we've got the big grubber, new mat from them. And they've also added these to their mats now. Little eyelets on each corner. So if you're running it without a mat underneath, you can uh, put some tent pegs in, pin it down, and it won't blow away. Would you care for a nice warm Anzac cookie? What do you got there? Anzac cookies. Oh, you better go in and give mum one. Where is she? Oh, inside there. How oh, good. It's Anzac day today. But way after that when you're watching this. How good. What service. Can I have another one? Thank you. Do you make them? No. Who made them? Mama. <laughs> did, did you help? No. Oh. <laughs> what else are you making up there? No, at least she's honest. <laughs> what else are you making up there? Damper. Damper. Ooh. I help make that. Straight, I cook up. 
Day. Stray Day. It's Anzac Day, mate. What are you doing in here, Ma? Tiling. Come show us. Yeah. Pop your head in there. So, same tiles as the splashback, but you reckon they're harder in here, right? So much harder. I thought that square space would be easy. No, it's not. Oh, you're doing good. Just don't look too closely. Nah. <laughs> Like we said, they've got bubbles in them, but you can't really notice it all the time. It's pretty good. And have a look at this. Here we are. Overcast day. It's been raining. Not much sun. We've got the inverter on, fridge run, and all the lights on. We are sitting at 99.6%. So happy. <laughs> that is the best. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she's coming together. Still got a bit to do.